Knowing a wild turkey's body language is one of the keys to being a successful hunter. And so today, we're gonna to see if my art can help you do that. So turkeys wear their emotions on their head. In the turkey world, we call this getting fired up. He's gonna gobble more, he's gonna behave differently, he's more receptive to calling. But not only does all those behavior changes happen, but his physical appearance changes as well. When a turkey gets hot, when he wants to breed, when he wants to fight, the blood vessels will dilate and more blood will actually run to his head, causing it to swell and change colors. So the crown on the top of the head is gonna swell. They give that gobbler the appearance of a big fat head that you can see from distance. Uh, the caruncles on the front are going to swell as well, the big right, bright red golf ball shape on the front. Uh, the snood is going to get longer. It may go from a retracted position of like an inch long to up to five inches long and get brighter. And the overall color of his head is going to change. Think of it like a, a fire, like a flame. A dull red flame is the, the coldest. And as he gets hotter, it's going to go bright red to blue and white. That turkey's the same way. When the crown of his head is white, he's gonna be the hottest he's possibly gonna get. And you can see all of this happen in a matter of seconds sometimes on a turkey that gets hot quick. In the same way, a turkey's body language will respond when he gets hot. Most times he's gonna go right into strut. A lot of times he may start to walk your direction and then go into a half strut as he walks but his head's generally gonna be lower, he's gonna carry it lower, and as he commits, he's gonna go into some form of strut. So it's a real easy way to see if he gets hot physically. At the same time, a turkey can go cold. A spooked turkey or an inclement weather or just when they know something isn't right, they hear or see something that's off, the turkey will go cold. And a lot of times if you're calling to a bird and you move and he goes cold, you know something's not right, so you need to change it up. The most obvious thing a turkey will do is it'll drop out a strut really quick. They'll also raise their head, sometimes what we call periscoping, where they'll bob back and forth, look in a lot of different directions. As a, as a general rule, the higher they, they hold their head, the higher the rate of anxiety, okay? A turkey that's in strut or feeding or content is gonna have his head tucked back, he's gonna be low, but those turkeys will raise their head to help spot danger. So when you see a turkey drop out a strut and raise his head and he's in range, you need to shoot because that turkey's spooked. The most obvious sign though is the wing clip. Turkeys just, it's sort of a self-soothing reactionary thing that they do is they lift their wing and then reposition it. Sometimes they'll do it twice and hunters will call this a wing clip. So if you watch that turkey drop out a strut, raise his head and clip his wings, you better shoot because he's going right away. As a wildlife artist, I've spent my entire career studying behaviors and postures and positioning of wild turkey so that my art can be more accurate. And I hope that my art can help make you a better hunter. If you want to see more, check out ryankirby.com for all of our prints, canvas and paper prints and apparel. And uh, be sure to follow along here because we've got a lot of new art coming out and a lot of great stuff ahead of turkey season.